welcome to Night Rips. And time for me to open up some more old stadium clubs since new stadium clubs are not here yet. This one will dive back into 95 Series 2 where I'm only 28 cards away from completing the set. And of course this was the box that we pulled that gold ringleaders card which gave you a chance of getting a basically a replica of this would be a case of 90 I guess 94 stadium or uh, all-star game ring so we're not going to be pulling any more phone cards at least we shouldn't be of course I have pulled two in, in a box before it'd be crazy if we actually pulled two gold ones but I'm not holding my breath I'm really there to chase that last 28 cards anything else is basically gravy to me so let's go ahead and zoom in and take the time to invite you to join the channel as we get close to 300 or maybe if I'm lucky because it is getting a little bit hot we might actually hit 300 by this point I don't know yet but we'll open up these six packs but before I do come join the channel hit that subscribe button below and hit the notify bell almost forgot to ask you to do that with that let's go ahead and rip these six packs and see what we get as you can tell sometimes I even get confused with what I'm trying to do so you can tell this is absolutely not scripted of course how would you ever script opening baseball cards I don't know I guess some people do I, I guess well there is some well even then I don't script when I do my nine card collections I don't know it's just rambling today there's Wes Chamberlain John Cruck I like John Cruck, one of the Phillies' finest, of course. There's Oliva, uh, Jose Oliva, and you think I could pronounce it because he's a brave, but this will be his debut card, which you can barely make out as July 1st, 1994. So his debut card was a year that we went on strike. So happy these are not sticking, Melendo Perez. Yeah, these are not sticking at all. This is actually not bad at all. And this was one of those things I got from the the National. There's Frank Thomas, best seat in the house. That would be one of the subsets in this set. Just like these cover stories. It's time for Juan Gonzalez for the Rangers. Yeah, but this was one of those ones I got from the National. So, so you never know where people pick things up. So membership card so you never know like i said where people pick these up if if they've been kept in good condition but it seems like these have been so here's our brian eversgird virtual reality card should get a virtual reality in every pack and so far we've been lucky with this box there's only the first box that ever had that problem that dud, dud box that only had a virtual reality every third pack so two thirds of the box did not have it, so I was gypped. Let's see what we get. Oh, right off the bat, I can see on the back we got a cool one. But well, I'm not going to start with him. The home run king, of course, you know who that is. There's Chris Hammond. They're with the Florida Marlins, and before they called the Miami Marlins. This is only two years after they came into existence. Kevin Mitchell. There's Eversgird. Of course, it was his MLB debut was 430-94. So he actually had a virtual reality card his, in essence, rookie year. So he must have really stood out to, for them to actually do a virtual reality card for him. Kenny Lofton, league leader. And what was he a league leader of? Uh, da, 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 hits. Scott Erickson. Pat Rapp. Eric Karros. Trying to go a little quick. Of course, I say that every time and never do it. There's a stage shot if I've ever seen one with Turner Ward. I mean, he's staring right into the camera rather than staring at, at what he's trying to catch. You can always tell. There's Greenwell, best seat in the house. They're at Fenway. Dave Fleming, 
and we got our checklist for virtual reality, which tells me the next one is going to be our virtual reality card of Marquise Grissom. There with the Expos. Of course, he did become a Brave and actually lives here in Atlanta. Pat Shuey, league leader, and he was the league leader in strikeouts per nine. And, and I mentioned it before, the great Barry Bonds, who is one of the eight that may actually get into the Hall of Fame this year with that Golden Committee. We'll see. I don't think they're going to hold... They're not going to hold Barry to the same standards that the BBWA did. At least I don't think so. Because there's several people. Because Kurt Schilling's on that list too. Of course, the one that I'm really watching for and hopefully see him make it would be Del, Del Murphy. A great player for the Braves. And an all-around good guy. I mean, of course, not getting a, a good guy doesn't make you and put you in the hall. But just, you know, two-time MVP, multiple-time sl Silver Slugger, Gold Glove, Tony Gwynn on a very, very big bat. And I don't think I've seen this card before because I think I would remember that bat. So this may be one of those. Actually, he was a dual league leader in both hits and average. And, of course, follow Tony Gwynn enough. That guy was unreal how good he was. Just the... Number of times he would not strike out. I mean, he's probably one of the best contact hitters in the game. I mean, he, there might have been a few others. But other ones were like more sluggers. You know, he was, he was pure contact. All right. Membership card means Pedro uh, Atasio should be a virtual reality, and he is. And that's a subset, or sorry, not a subset. That's an insert set of its own. And that would be the White Sox, uh, no, no, no. Wilson Alvarez cover story. I've got, I think, all of the cover stories now. John Jaha. Three packs to go. And I was expecting to be mostly base in this. But, of course, that's what we're really chasing. The about being a base a set collector is you are going to open up a lot of this. John Allrud. Chuck Finley. Spinning these around. These are actually it's Albi Lopez. Actually surprised at how messed up these really are. As in being backwards. Another slugger of the time, Mark McGuire. So between Mark McGuire and Barry Bonds, you have two guys. All I need to do is pull a Sammy Sosa, and you've got, you'd have like the three people everyone was watching in this time. And was the the whole talk of the, the uh, Boys of Summer. Kind of bringing the sport back after the 94 strike. Is that Berga? And it is. Lorraine, we've got our virtual reality checklist. Again, it is a set on its own. And this time we have Jim uh, Leyritz. Yeah, probably butchered the name, but that's just what I do. Okay, Melon Neves. All right, two packs to go. Actually looking forward to see how far we can get in the set with this because there is definitely cards I'm looking at I've never seen before or if I've seen them it's been a while there's Brian McRae pulled his special card out of one of the early top same club because he was a first round draft choice Vinny Castilla and Bernie Williams Oops, almost missed John Dory. A nice Mark Messina. Great pitcher there with the Orioles. Lou Whitaker, who is stuck to something. What are you stuck to, Lou? Oh, you're stuck to a cover story. And that cover story is one we just saw. Carlos Berga. 
Got a best seat in the house subset. This one being the Immortal uh, Kirby Pickett, or Kirby, Kirby Puckett. Sorry, I've been looking at some football cards lately and thinking Kirby Puckett, Kenny Pickett, I don't know. Just different names stick in the brain different. Got a Delino de Shields. This would be a virtual reality card for the Expos, right? Maybe, or is he a Dodger at this point? No, he's a Dodger at this point. He was one of the rookie trios in 1990 upper deck. Him, uh, Marquise Grissom, and Jeff Bagwell. Not Jeff Bagwell, good lord. Larry Walker. Not even close. Bagwell was an Astro the entire, his entire career, so. Just sometimes his brain works in very mysterious ways, and sometimes it don't work at all. Last pack. Okay. We have Bill Wegman, Darren Hall, Aker, Mike Kingery, John Lieber, Pat Kelly. You can definitely tell that's not a staged, just because you can see the way they're looking. Robin Ventura, Maz Mazanillo, a best seat in the house of, let me sit right this time, Kirby Puckett. So we've gotten dupes. And we got Jose Valentin, cover story. Of course, like I said, I, th I think I've pulled every one of the cover stories. I'm not sure about the best seat in the house. Joe Orsilek. And then after our membership card, James should be a James Moulton virtual reality. And it is. Oh, well, there you go. Another great one. Hall of Famer. And the, the steel king of probably all-time Ricky Henderson. And then we'll end it with Angular Cedinho. So, quick recap. We did pull a ton of base. I don't expect to pull a ton of base. Uh, we, you know, we pulled most of the box hits already. Uh, I don't remember if we've actually pulled the clear cut or not. But we'll see. We got one more rip of this. But also included in those base set, even though I'll pull them out special, we did pull some of the best seats to the house. Include a couple of Kirby Puckett, a uh, Greenwell, and a Big Hurt Frank Thomas. Put him with the rest of the base. And then, of course, the cover stories. Jose Valentin, Carlos Berga. Uh, I always forget his Wilson Alvarez. And Juan Gonzalez, yeah. Barre Say Guzman. And, of course, a second set. And it's not a set that I'm going to chase. But it's a set. I'll pick it up as I go. We did pull one of those virtual reality cards in every single pack, and all six of them are unique. Making sure it's all just virtual reality, because so many times I will put base cards with this. So, definitely a base rip, but it's a rip towards getting to my collection. So, I hope you enjoyed this. Hope you enjoyed coming on this journey to help me try to finish that Top Saving Club base collection. I am over 5,000 cards done, which is 60% of the set that, you know, started from 1991 all the way through 2021. 2022 doesn't come out until December. Then I'll just expand more. There's a total of, well, over 8,300 cards in this entire set. And I'm looking at trying to get them all. So come join that journey by subscribing to the channel, hitting that subscribe button below, and the notify bell. Also, any comments, leave it in the comment section below. And as always, please hit the thumbs up for the video it definitely helps drive the YouTube algorithm and does me a great favor. So I appreciate giving this, you know, another rip. Appreciate taking the time watching it. And until next time, bye now.